Hello, my name is Carrie Ann Ings and this is Sat TV Technology Update. In this update, we are looking at the new generation of atomic clocks in space that will be instrumental in enabling accurate testing of Einstein's theory of general relativity. In addition, they will contribute to the accuracy and long term stability of global timescales like international atomic time and coordinated universal time. They will also support applications involving remote sensing via the GNSS network. The French space agency CNES and ESA recently signed an agreement that paves the way for the launch of a high accuracy atomic clock to be attached to the outside of the European Columbus Laboratory on board the ISS. The Ferro atomic clock will be combined with another atomic clock, the Space Hydrogen Maser, SHM, to form ESA's Atomic Clock and Ensemble in Space, ACES, which will have an accuracy of 1 times 10 to the minus 16, corresponding to a time error of about 1 second over 300 million years. The ACES onboard timescale is a result of the excellent short-term stability of the Space Hydrogen Maser and the long-term stability and accuracy of the Ferro Cesium Atomic Clock. A dedicated microwave link sends the ACES timing signal to the ground, allowing space-to-ground comparisons of clocks. ACES, including the two atomic clocks, as well as the frequency comparator and the microwave link, will be operated from the ACES User Support Operation Centre at the CADMOS facility in Toulouse. Operations make use of the existing European ISS ground network, including the Columbus Control Centre and a special network of microwave terminals which are linked to the most stable and accurate atomic clocks on the ground. ACES is designed for launch in the unpressurised cargo bay of the Japanese H-2 transfer vehicle or SpaceX's carrier rocket in the second half of 2013. Once in orbit, ACES will be attached to Columbus's Earth-facing external payload platform using the station robotic arm. ESA is bartering the launch costs of ACES and four other external payloads against the supply of the Cupola Observation Dome to NASA. Cupola is slated for launch in February 2010, along with Node 3, another habitable ISS element built in Europe. Under the agreement, CNES will fund and develop the Faro atomic clock and deliver it to ESA for integration into ACES, and ESA will develop the SHM clock which is funded by the European Programme for Life and Physical Sciences. Thank you for watching.